Hello, I'm Gif Kalantari, consultant on impact investment opportunities. And today I'd like to talk to you about APC Group, uh, also known as Asia Plantation Capital, a group I'm collaborating with for the last five years. And I'm very proud to present it. is an agroforestry management company. What do they do? Well, they plant trees, they sell trees, and they manage clients' trees. And the more trees they sell, the more they can plant and impact. So I will present you the group more into details, their values, the three Ps, people, planet, and profit. The business generated out of the Aquilaria tree and the Coconut Palm tree. Taking you uh, to have an overlook of all the. We'll talk about proposal, the uh, uh, the tree acquisition proposal and the fixing combo. The company uh, headquarter is in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, in Geneva, they have um, a marketing office covering Europe. In Dubai as well, marketing office with, in, uh, in addition, um, some uh, sales force for the uh, end products. In Luxembourg is our legal office, um, where from we establish all the purchasing and selling agreement with our clients. So the group has four division, sales and marketing, plantation management, processing factory, and real estate which include the land and manufacturer and office. Um, the group is uh, principally managed by British people. We have uh, as a chairman, Barry Rawlinson, as a CEO world, Steve Watts, as a CEO Europe, Gary Grates, and CEO Dean, um, Middle East, Dean Henry. So, so some, some, some numbers. Uh, the group has been established in 2002 in London. Um, is today uh, spread within uh, covering 14 countries, um, having a 400 million uh, asset under management, uh, spread over 150 plantations, uh, all that with uh, zero bank debt and zero mortgage, uh, but the support of 8,500 clients, and which allowed to plant over 1 million Aquilaria trees, um, and create over 2,000 uh, jobs. As a payback, uh, the first trees um, were sold uh, in 2008, 2009. At that time, client needed to wait uh, 10 years uh, before harvesting their trees. So payback is $12 million uh, up to today. At the same time, uh, the group has um, attracted uh, attention to a in some um, important uh, financial magazines, such as uh, Capital Finance International. They award them as the best sustainable forestry management company, while the European magazine award them a few years in a row, best forestry investment company. And uh, by developing Malaysia, they also got the Sharia Compliance Award. Um, APC Group, uh, APC Securitization Luxembourg, when uh, launching their uh, private bond, uh, got the Luxembourg Flag Awards for being clear for investors, responsible, sustainable, transparent, and independent. We also have the chance to work with some foundation, some such as uh, Prince Albert of Monaco Foundation. We also have the chance to work with Prince Tunku Nakiyuddin of Malaysia, a very important businessman who invested heavily on trees and we managed them for him. Uh, we also had the chance of having the visit of Fabrice Delahaye, a very uh, well-known uh, um, journalist. Um, he came for a week visiting our plantation and the management and uh, out of this made a three page article on the Bilan, Bilan magazine. So <clears throat> the group has a, a vertical business strategy going from the plantation to the processing factory, 
to the distillery when needed and by creating also brand. We have a brand for perfume um, related to the Aquilaria tree and we have a brand for coconut uh, as well. So the, the culture that drives our business are those three values, planet, people and profit. So what do we do for the planet? So just understand first that the Aquilaria tree um, has been exploited for over 2000 years for religion and cultural reason, covering India, uh, Middle East, China, Japan, Korea. Uh, all that mainly for incense. They like to use the incense of this, uh, that from the resin that this tree is producing. The issue is that the tree produces such a resin only when he's aggressed by a foreign bacteria, such a mushroom or insect, then his immune system is triggered and he will develop this uh, resin. The sad part is that uh, this resin cannot be seen from the outside and we don't know which tree has produced the resin. So the illegal loggers, they just go in the wild, the jungle and cut, chop down all the trees they find and out of 100, they find only seven. The the, well, the sad conclusion is that in 1995, CITES, which is a branch of United Nations and supposed to protect our flora and flora, has declared these uh, trees as critically endangered species, as well as IUCN. Well, so the group has decided and choose the, the, the choose to cultivate this tree in order to to respond to a consumer uh, market uh, request. Uh, this way, hoping to preserve the trees in the wild. For that, they have invested on the IP, intellectual property, to find a way to provoke each tree and have the best results. So they have created a serum composed of organic uh, uh, com composition. And uh, this, so this serum is injected on the tree in order to produce the resin. Uh, so we are talking about the, uh, the trees which are in our culture, right? Um, and that gives us a 100% success and um, high return on investment. APC uh, at the same time got a CITI certification, uh, meaning the whole production is controlled by local governments and CITES. We are also following uh, ESG and FSC uh, guidelines in terms of social, ecological, and economical practice. We are also known for reforesting the wood. Uh, <clears throat> for instance, in Sri Lanka, this tree has disappeared and I mean, um, was overexploited and we replant and reintegrated in the, uh, his uh, habitat. Um, APC is also a carbon neutral company, ISO, ISO carbon neutral company. Um, for instance, 400 Aquilaria tree has a impact, a carbon impact, a footprint of 30 ton uh, per year, while the coconut is the double, about 60 ton. Um, so regarding the people, what do we do? Well, first of all, we create job in the most fragile rural uh, areas. We uh, pay them an, uh, a nice wage, meaning above average local wage. We provide them in addition, health insurance and uh, medical checkup. We help them <clears throat> financially to restore the house or uh, to um, uh, we provide them land also of that where they can uh, grow their own food. Um, we also uh, work with local uh, community and participate in uh, building infrastructure, school, road, clinics, and and it is a good feeling because it's a it's a real help. And when we visit them, they are, we see that uh, they are very happy. So profit, what about profits? Well, the company keep on investing on research and development, keep on uh, expanding internationally um, and keep for themselves a margin of uh, a profit margin of 9% per annum. 
while for their client, they secure up to these days uh, ROIC of 100% within 10 years. So the business generated out of the Aquilaria and the coconut palm. First, the Aquilaria. So the Aquilaria, as I mentioned before, um, his precious part is the, this famous resin and is a very highly valuable uh, product also due to his rarity. Um, <clears throat> so for instance, the oil can be found in the retail market at 100,000 US dollar a liter is the most expensive oil in the world, while the resin itself um, the, uh, as well. Um, the wood chip can be found at 6,000 US dollar a kilo uh, starting from 6,000. Um, so what do we use this product for? But for about 200 commercial products, uh, going from essential oil, fragrances, incense, medicine, cosmetic, beverage, jewelry. Um, and it's a niche market. So it, since of, due to the rarity, the price remained high, stable. And then, um, and then, um, and then, voila, <laughs> I pass. So next, next. Here we go. The coconuts. This is the brand we have uh, created for Malaysia and to supply supermarket there. So it's going to be, um, it is a, a coconut water. And as you know, we can also do uh, coconut milk, coconut shelf, um, and uh, coconut oil. Uh, the demand on coconut has increased of 500% for the last 10 years. So the demand is still there and is, as uh, we all know, the benefits. Um, that's it's what looks like a nursery in the, in a, in APC um, uh, production. This is a nursery of Aquilaria tree. Um, here you can see trees a little bit uh, older and already sold to a client, and we see um, that they are tagged. They have a white paper with a QR code. So each tree has a unique reference code, uh, allowing us to track his history and the ownership. The same code can be found on clients purchasing agreements. That's how it looks one of our uh, plantation. We create also water palm uh, and install an irrigation system. So um, if water is not used for the trees, it's always there for nature and for the birds. This is uh, how it looks when we inject uh, the organic compound, the serum, into the tree. Uh, doesn't look very beautiful, but anyway, it doesn't last long. After a few days, uh, we take out the serum, uh, I mean, the injection, and, uh, and we let him alone for two, three years until the client asks us to harvest his tree. That's how it looks like a mature tree, about 15 years old. Um, and this is the maximum uh, production of resin you can do without killing the tree. Then we extract either the, the, the resin, either we turn the whole log into powder in order to make uh, incense, you know, incense stick, which is a uh, high demand, as I mentioned before, in India, Middle East, uh, China and Japan. Middle East alone, I mean the country of the Gulf, uh, they consume about three billion dollars a year of uh, product uh, out of uh, Aquilaria tree. That's the oil, the precious oil. Some also purchase this oil as an investment. Uh, like here in Europe, we will do with old wine. Uh, with time pass, the rarity and um, the, 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 between the rarity and the transformation of the smell, it become a, a highly, highly valuable product. While coconut, we are not always aware of that, but they can produce out of uh, um, about 150 to 200 cocoa a year, which provides a very good um, return on investment as well. Here, I will show you now the little three minutes video. 
so taking you to uh, Thailand. extract uh, the oil out of the distillery. We are growing, we are diversifying, and this is how for a year now we are developing a coconut plantation as well. So hope you enjoy it. I'll come back to my PowerPoint. Here we go. Now, the proposition for acquisition uh, of uh, trees, investment opportunities. I will look at, we will look at the procedure, um, the investment opportunity on direct ac acquisition. Uh, I'll introduce you also to uh, the Luxembourg Fixed Income Bond and uh, we will look at uh, risk management. So uh, <clears throat> traditionally how it works, uh, a client, institutional or private, uh, interested to acquire uh, plantation trees, uh, well, he will receive a sales and purchase agreement from APC Group Luxembourg, which includes uh, the personalized codification um, that we put on his trees. Um, a sublease agreement on the land and uh, with the GPS coordinates. Then there will be a third agreement, which is uh, the management agreement. 
So in the case of Aquilaria, which uh, big market is the Middle East, so APC General Trading Dubai will be the managing company. His, his responsibility will be to follow all the management, um, the care, the harvesting, um, the sale of the end product. Uh, he will guarantee a minimum sell back price uh, set in the agreement. Um, the tree uh, will be insured uh, by uh, Lloyds of London. Uh, there will also be a buffer stock for small losses. They will be replaced automatically with trees of a similar age. Um, so I will say is a well wrapped uh, tree agreements. So the acquisition, for instance, uh, for the last two years, we've been able to uh, propose a mature tree Aquilaria uh, that were in within four years, uh, client get 15% return on investment. I mean, as an average per annum, meaning 60% in a year, how that's possible, but simply uh, by letting the tree grow. Uh, this tree is gaining about 10 kilo a year. So if you look at the uh, purchasing price and the sellback price per, per kilo, and the fact that the tree gained a 40 kilo in, in four years, well, it's a capital gain of 60%. Um, uh, otherwise, uh, we sell uh, sapling trees um, in the shape of Aquilaria or uh, coconut tree. Coconut, they are maybe a little bit older. Uh, in any case, the retail on the coconut and the sapling tree are not yet available. Uh, but for institution, we can already start to do custom made product. Uh, <clears throat> so starting with $5 million up to if they want $100 million, um, we can create a custom made portfolio uh, addressed to institutional who are looking for either private equity if that's the case we will create a spv um, and then um, uh, and then we will also uh, make a, a, a proposal uh, create some trenches of investment once we know the amount that will be deployed otherwise um, for uh, for private for small uh, buyers um, I would say starting with 23,000 US dollar, they can start to be uh, owner of trees. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, so um, the other way will be via the, uh, our private, uh, private bond that can be addressed to any individual. Uh, the, the, uh, the minimum will be 125,000 US dollar. Uh, actually, the, 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 the bond is open to $25 million. It gives a 7% uh, coupon a year uh, for 8% um, a year, sorry, during seven years. And, and it has a 12% bonus uh, on year uh, seven. It's fully backed by corporate guarantee. Uh, the earliest exit will be on year three trenches of, of 25,000 uh, US uh, euros, audited by or, um, Oros Audit. And uh, so the coupon is financed by the yearly harvesting of cocoa. Uh, that's the way we started to, uh, to uh, develop the coconut production. Um, uh, so it's also addressed so to individual or to funds who are to um, private debt fund. Uh, could be also interested for interesting for them. We can add trenches um, and organize that. So how we manage the risk? Tree mortality, as mentioned, our tree are insured, and they also we also have buffer stocks. So for limited loss, it's automatically replaced against all uh, known risk, climate. Uh, drown, fire, uh, hard, yeah, uh, insects, disease. Uh, the tree, uh, the risk regarding output per tree, well, the output per tree are well known. They are not, they are trees that are very familiar to all of us. Um, we know how much they produce a year. 
the forecast made um, are uh, by taking the minimum output. So we already consider all, all the risk factor. The market price are solid. As you understood on the Aquilaria, we are in a niche market and on the coconut, it's a high demand market. And as we are uh, into a vertical business integration, uh, the whole chain is under our control, I will say. <clears throat> well, the beauty of agroforestry investment is that it's completely decorrelated from traditional economy. It's something that I would say everybody should have a percentage of his portfolio in it. Um, I found this uh, interesting chart, American chart. In America, they have timber uh, showing best performing asset class from 1986 to 2014. And we could see um, how here on the top, the timber is holding compared to the S&P uh, 500 commercial real estate, government bond and CPI. So <clears throat> it's an asset class that uh, whatever happened to our, our economy, three keep on growing and gaining value or keep on producing um, coconut or fruits. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so I like to end by saying that we are a transparent company. Uh, you are welcome to come and visit us in Geneva or in Asia and visit our plantation. Uh, to this day, we had uh, 7,000 uh, visitors, uh, meaning 7,000 witness as well. And, and hopefully soon will be your turn. I will be pleased to collaborate with you and answer all your questions. Feel free to come back to me. And voila, I'm Giv Kalantari and uh, see you soon. <laughs>